Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 as Mexico. Alright, we're gonna give this another go. Um, I know some people are gonna be upset that we re I'm restarting, but, you know, for me, it's the, it's the iterative process that I find very enjoyable. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna find a way to make it work. Now, it's interesting, actually, on the subreddit, we've been discussing it quite a bit, and, uh, you know, go check that out at Arumba07, or reddit.com slash r slash Arumba07. And, uh, yeah, um, some people have actually succeeded in this pretty easily, um, using a few different strategies based on, uh, watching, watching me try it. One of the prevailing things that we definitely think is accurate is to lower the combat width of our troops. We need to have a wide front line. Um, some people have done it with far less cavalry. They've gone with just a couple divisions of it, you know, like six to six to ten. Um, some people have actually tried using motorized, and it's actually something that we could produce. It's not as hard as I thought it would. We do have some oil. The only thing we lack is rubber. So, it's just oil steel rubber. So you just make, you know, trade trade away one civilian factor for a little bit of rubber, and you make a little bit of motorized, and uh, go from there. So I think I'm going to try that, and uh, what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to take all of our units, and we're going to change them all to regular infantry. We'll free up a little bit of infantry equipment. We're going to delete the, the horse unit, because we're not going to use any horses. We're going to go straight to, uh, that's not true. We're, we're going to use some horses, but we're not going to use those horses. We're going to use, um, like, we create a new division, and uh, what we'll end up doing is we're going to create it from the ground up, because I actually realized... We have 18, right? We're going to go down, go down to uh, to 8. It's cheaper to build up a new division to 8 than it is to go down from 18 to 8. It's either 25 army experience versus 20 army experience. So we're just going to hold off on that. And our, our first thing we're going to do is going to be turn all of our infantry divisions into two combat width units. And we'll slowly scale them up over time. What that will also do is free up a whole bunch of units that we can use to, uh, to get a whole bunch more um, actual divisions in training right away. Um... We'll probably end up spending more infantry equipment and training overall that way. But, um, it's okay. It's, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. So, um, we're gonna focus on getting to fascists as early in the game as we can. And the number one goal of this campaign is gonna be to declare the war on the United States as early in the game as we possibly can. Alright, so we do have this guy here who is going to, uh, be our training division for now. Uh, just go over there and go start training. Now, one guy has suggested that it doesn't make a lot of sense to train, um, to trade away one of your very limited civilian factories, um, early in the game for steel just to make basic infantry equipment. And I did a temporary, like a, a short-term test run, and I found that this lack of resources minus 60%, like, really is significant, and I would rather just have the, the, uh, the extra steel. Um, even though it's crappy equipment, I would rather have one less factory and then have full production. Because, um, it's just, dude, 27 versus 11, I mean, we double our production by getting rid of one civilian factory. And we just need bodies. Whether they've got good guns or not, I don't even care, I just want bodies. Lots and lots and lots of bodies. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I just, I think that's the right call. Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, we don't want to train any of these yet. We want to wait until we have five army experience, which won't happen until we do army doctrine. So... I suppose we just hold off on any training at all for the moment. My goal is to try to declare by like August of 38. Maybe maybe even July of 38. But something else we're going to do. This is very interesting. Even though the United States guarantees Guatemala and Honduras and El Salvador and all this stuff. They actually won't protect them. Which is weird. Like you can declare on them and they don't actually defend them at all. And we can take over this territory. These guys only have... Uh, like one division, one division, one division. This guy has three divisions. But um, they all have one military factory and two civilian factories. Very quick, easy wars that gives us a fair number of, uh, of factories. I mean, three factories per conquest? That's really good. The cost associated with doing those wars is going to be that we have to have uh, multi-front. And then also it's going to cost us like between 40 and 50 political power per war. And 200 days of planning time. So... Do we want to put off the war with the United States a little bit in order to do those wars? And I think I'm going to try it this time around. I think it's the right call. Can we actually get up to five army experience, I wonder, just from these exercises? It's possible. Probably not. All right, I'm going to do my best here as well to be uh, as quick as I can at getting into the actual meat of the war. All right, let's go ahead and hire our fascist demagogue. And uh, from looking at the wiki... The, the bottom option is better for actually generating generating stuff. Now, we could go straight to army effort. We want to get land doctrine started right as these other researchers are finished. And I do want to try to get equipment effort started because I want to work towards getting better guns um, early. But 
I think we do need to try to, to get the fascist thing going right away. The sooner we become fascist, the sooner we can do fun stuff, right? Basically how it works. Okay, we're not fascist right now, so we can't generate any war goals yet. Okay, these guys are all still in training, so we're actually are looks like we're gonna get up to five five experience right now. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll create a new template. Vision designer. New create empty. Just regular infantry. Pure infantry. Um, and we're gonna call this uh infantry. Because they've got it called like Infanteria or whatever. Now we're gonna grab our six divisions and we're gonna change them all to infantry. That frees up 48,000 manpower and quite a few guns. We're going to delete that, that division. We're going to start training now. And we want to do like at least 10 at once, I think. This will all fill in right away. Let's see how many of these we can actually fill in. Yeah, about 20. And now we already have enough. Oh, let's get like even more. Just one round of it, I think is good. And then, uh, as we get army experience, we will continue to upgrade them to larger and larger um, combat width. Up to eight, I think, is where we're going to end up sitting. But these guys are going to come out pretty quick. We're going to end up with like 30 divisions right away. 36, actually. But again, they're only two combat width. So, let's actually add even more. Let's keep on filling those in as you... Look at that, we already have enough infantry equipment for most of that. But, um, again, it's nice that we're making 27 units a day, but uh, as soon as we double it, I mean, it's, it, we're, we're not going to have enough. We're going to run out. So we actually don't want to get too crazy on it. Nationals of focus, I think. Research is about to finish. And I do think that we, we change over to infantry equipment regular right now. We lose half our production efficiency, but we start making better guns. The difference in... in Strength between these two equipment types of equipment is pretty significant. Um, these guys have three. It's uh, 22 and three versus 22, three and six. Soft attack is doubled. So I don't think that we want to keep on making any of this crap crap equipment. We immediately change over. As far as research goes, uh, we are going to want to knock out. No Doctrine yet. We do want to knock out this guy because that allows us to spend... What we're going to do is in the Focus Tree, right? We get three bonuses to equipment. We're going to do one of them on... One of them is going to go on this, the Improved Artillery 2. One of them is going to go on this, and one of them is going to go on this. We'll use the 100% bonus on the weapons too. So we need to knock out this guy here. And I think we will just knock this guy out. Keep them synced, roughly. Keep the researches about the same length. Now, we could save time on research. But one thing I might do is not do that, just so that we have tons of political power available for instant fabrications on everyone, basically. As soon as we become fascists, I want to fabricate on all of these little provinces. These little... Essentially, they're one province miners. And the United States. I want to fabricate on everyone all at once. Because we're just going to declare all the wars, basically just back to back over the course of like a month in fact we'll probably stagger it so that it's like this guy this guy this guy over the course of one month and then this guy this guy over the course of a month i don't know if we're going to attack san salvador because he does have three times the troops which is not that many but it's a little bit more of a, a slog to, to actually take the territory which is annoying we don't want to deal with it okay, we're barely getting any experience right now but we will gain more now that we've got lots more guys here training we can modify government, um, like a theorist would still probably be a good idea because it's going to save us 7% times 3 researches, which take 300 days. So that's 21 days each, that saves us 61 days of research. On the other hand, we could just not do that at all and just save the points for fabrications. Do we need, I think we can hire at least one guy. And we do want the army experience so we can get these divisions up and proper. Yeah, every single one of these is actually uh, looking like they're going to deploy. We're up to 36 right now. And hopefully, we end up with a little bit of army experience here. So we can get them properly sized. Okay, alright, and we are working on our way toward 
that one. Let's get army effort now for land doctrine bonus. That will sync up nearly perfectly with the research. So we'll do one thing of... We'll do one bit of research on the doctrine and one bit of research on something else. I'm not sure what. It'll probably end up being... We don't have a bonus to that yet. I mean, we could just start this one ahead of time. I don't think I want to do that. We are going to go for, like I said, motorized at some point. No divisions of basic training. We can solve that pretty easily. Um, let's hold off for a moment, though, because we're about to... I mean, we got 56, two wide, two combat with wide divisions, and they're about to all need more training. Because as soon as we get to five army experience, we're going to double their size, which means they're all going to become recruit, raw recruits again. Okay, just gotta wait a little bit here. Hopefully these guys aren't killing too much of our equipment. According to this, there's only a 0.4% chance and a 0.1% chance on the <clears throat> infantry equipment one. It's pretty minor. <clears throat> okay. I am gonna train a couple cavalry. We're not gonna completely ignore them. And the reason for that... <clears throat> Is that even though we're going to try to have a few, a few uh, motorized, they um, have penalties to moving through like forests and stuff, and the cavalry don't. So having a mixture of both seemed to work pretty well for me in my my test run. Let's get like just a few of these going. Okay, that's army effort. Next, we're going to do equipment effort. Research finishes in five days, so we do land doctrine one. And then for the other one, uh, I think it was going to be... I don't want to pay ahead of time on that. I don't want to do any of this. I really don't want to do any of that. We don't have a bonus for this yet. not time for that yet. When we make artillery, we're going to skip over artillery 1. We're not skipping over weapons 1, but we are going to skip over artillery 1. Uh, let's see. This doesn't finish for 70 days. I feel like I just have to get something started, so even though uh, we don't have a bonus for that one, we'll, we'll just get started on it. Okay, none of these divisions are going to be the right size. They're not going to be well trained yet for quite a while. In fact, one of them even went all, all the way down to raw. Our recruit. We are short 3,600 units. And it's going to get worse as we continue to expand the combat width, which we're going to do actually again right now. Yeah, so we need lots of guns, basically. We're already low on manpower. Good. It's a good problem, actually, being honest. Okay, so this one will be probably we want to get started on the artillery now. We'll worry about the guns in, a, in uh, the next two. As soon as research is available, uh, we will go toward that. Okay, so that's equipment effort. Uh, we can track. I think we'll get the land auction one now. We'll take the superior firepower, have you work on artillery. And then this concentrated industry guy will end up working on guns. They're able to modify the government again. And this is where I've got to make the decision. Do I actually want to spend... We're one year into the game. Do I actually want to spend any of these points? Or do I want to save it for the conversion to war economy? And do I want to save it for the fabricated claims? We need like 200 points to fabricate on five countries. It's 240 points. 250 even, maybe, to fabricate on, on the United States at the same time. So, And again, our goal is to be as fast as we can. So... I think we just edit you all the way up to 8 again. Now, I tried in my uh, my little test test run that I did off camera. Um, I tried doing a 2 combat width cavalry and 2 combat width motorized, and they were exceptionally weak. Holy crap, did they die, like, right away. So I'm not sure I'm going to go that narrow 
I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to decide. In theory, it could work really well. Okay, we're going to pay the ahead of time penalty. 1.9 years ahead of time. Look at that. But it's still, uh... It's only going to take 191 days, which is not that bad for research. So we'll end up having this about, uh... Solid year and a half ahead of time. Okay. So when concentrated industry is done, we're going to start working on either doctrine or equipment. Let's keep on doing the equipment. I think we need to get the equipment going right away because we've got to do two, two of them back to back and they're both going to take a little while. Because we are still going to be ahead of time on the infantry equipment one. It's still going to take a few days. I'm, a, I'm aware that we're completely out of manpower. That's fine. And this actually allows you to, um, building up like this, it seems to allow you to, to put more of your divisions into the field than you normally would. At least that's the impression that I get. Let's keep on, like, deploying here. At least enough to get these guys training a little bit. A little bit less of a breakdown of equipment that way. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to my points for now. We're already at 39% uh, fascist, so we do need to get up to like 50% for the full peaceful conversion, I think. But um, we don't have the doctrine yet. Okay, we can wait 12 days. Okay, equipment two, and let's just knock out one more of these. We do have the army experience available to create new templates again. So we could do our cav, which we're going to want. Save you for five. And I just don't know. I don't know. Two combat with like their defense stats. So garbage. They've got the speed. I mean, we would only really be able to use them literally to take over empty provinces. Nothing else. But if we're going to do that, I think we go, okay, let's go with two, but then let's only train, like, a very, very small number of these. Like, six at most, I think. Let's do five cavalry, five motorized. That's going to be the goal. But to get motorized, of course, we're going to have to research that. Okay. Research is done. You were supposed to be working on this. And then once we have this other focus here, we'll start working on infantry weapons too. Getting that ahead of time, I think, is going to be a big advantage against the United States. More importantly, though, again, making sure that we're actually producing uh, a good amount of this this regular infantry equipment. 36 units a day is pretty good. All right, do we have any of you that are actually fully trained yet? We do. Okay, and you are of proper division size? Yes. Okay, cool. We can actually send some troops to the front line now. Our first war is going to be against Guatemala, I think it was. Yeah. So let's get you into a new army with the other level 3 leader. Get you on a border down here with a plan. And we will start just sending quite a few of the troops down there. Um, I would like to start producing artillery, but we have to wait 60 days for that. So we won't have any artillery for a little bit. We're also not fascist yet. But I feel like this is a much more, much, much more aggressive and it's going to be a much faster approach. And we just peacefully became, uh, yeah, it's cool. That's good. That's good. We're fascist now. Uh, we don't have the world tension to switch to the full on war economy yet. So we're going to wait till Spain finishes their, their rebellion. Beyond that, um, might not have been a horrible idea to hire the, uh, the infantry designer because we we're going to do two researches on it and we're ahead of time. On the other hand, uh, Eventually, I'm gonna do industrial concern. I'm gonna just I'm gonna stick with my plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to as many of these points as I can. We're gonna to continue to train these infantry. We need to edit, duplicate, and this is gonna be uh, INF8 plus support. And INF-8 plus support is going to have the support artillery. Save. Done. We don't actually have any artillery yet, but we'll start converting a couple of them over. 
at some point. Already having 56 divisions is a little bit cumbersome. Okay. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. We do need the other doctrine effort. I think we need to get started on the motorized. That's going to give us a huge, huge bonus to motorized research. And we're completely out of manpower. So at one, at some point, you know what? Let's just go ahead. We'll go up to the limited conscription right now. We are going to get more manpower from the other thing, from uh, the fascist tree. But um, I think we can spend 150 points on that. I think that's better than worry about research. We only have two research slots. Probably don't need this many divisions down here, but <clears throat> we'll go with like eight. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Um, maybe we'll go ten. We'll go up to the full eighty combat with just to guarantee that the wars are quick. And ideally, they're going to be the guys that have the support support equipment. All right, so that gives me eight, and I need one and two more if I can. Okay, we can start. Production of artillery. Okay, we're waiting on that. We're not going to use it on this. Um, we're not going to do that. We do have a doctrine bonus, I believe, right now. Yes, we do. Let's get started on that. And let us. What's the other thing? Oh, right, artillery. Start a production line of artillery. Artillery two. Don't show outdated equipment anymore, please. Okay, I want to go up to five, because that's how much tungsten we have. We want to put you above that, and uh, we're up to full production efficiency of infantry equipment one right now, so we're not going to change that. But, um... Um, for, the, for now, I really just want one of these to go here, and then let's add another line with four, after we get a few more infantry equipment started. Right, we're fascists, what am I doing? We should be fabricating already. Uh, so justify war goal. It's going to cost us 49 political points each. I mean, if we wait just a tiny, tiny bit, there's a chance that the fascist coup could end. I think we should just wait for the fascist coup to end. That'll save us 10 points per fabrication, and it will also speed it up by 45 days. So, so long as they finish this soon, which they should, probably as soon as they take Barcelona, then we'll be able to, um, I think we're saving, are we saving time? Probably. We're certainly saving political points, which are valuable. I need one more troop. Down here. This is uh, led by who? Gildaro. And you can head up here. Just cover the whole border. It's fine. Give you an attack vector up that way. And we will continue to reassign these guys up this way as we can. Motorization effort's done now. Cool. Jap Japanese people are looking to declare their war. Our next national focus is going to be another point in doctrine. That'll be the third doctrine bonus. And these troops, um, you know, they really don't need to be up there. Um, I think we just want to focus on his capital. So let's get everyone down here. Japan's declared war and trying to... Okay, now we've got the points. Now we're good. So now we can do war economy. And uh, now we can fabricate on everyone. Just got a little bit of, you know, Spain hasn't actually even finished the thing. 45 points. Uh, okay. All right, that's fine. We'll start these two for now. Let's wait until probably like October 24th. We can start, we'll, we'll start three at once. No, let's, let's space it by a month. I want to give ourselves one month to conquer each of these countries. Not not one month each, but like one month for two. So, October 24th, we declare, we start fabricating the next set. We get all of these little guys started before we start the fabrication of the United States, because I'd like to get those all done before we declare on the United States. We can hopefully pull all the troops up north. And before you say, hold on, these guys are all guaranteed by the United States. I did, again, I tested it, and the United States doesn't even honor the call. I don't know why, but they just, they, they completely flat out ignore it, which is weird. But it's what they do. How are we doing on stuff? Lack resources, we need steel. Uh, let's make sure... How big of a penalty is that? 18%? I think that's pretty significant. I would rather get rid of a civilian factory. 
then have that penalty. Okay. We have one whole unit of towed artillery. So we just got our factory started on that, that's good. It'll take a while to get the production efficiency up. Um, we may even want to go... Let's do two. Now. Because I'd rather have more towed artillery. And actually, you know what, I'm gonna go even harder on it. Three. The next two factories are gonna go towards that. It's complaining that we have low manpower already again. We need to come down here. Okay, it's October, October 30th. Let's just fire Wargle here. And here. And for the final thing then, we will we will fabricate on these guys. Well, we actually are kind of run low on points. This actually worked out pretty well. Let's wait till uh, November 24th. And then we'll start on this guy. He's actually working on mechanization effort? Are you crazy? And this is where we're going to start on you. And we're also going to wait just like one more whole month and we're going to start on the United States. It's already up to 23 divisions. Okay. And, uh... I think we need to create another one then. Pull these guys out of training so we're not wasting any equipment. Create a new army. And we need a new commander. And let's get him uh, his own border up here. And eventually we'll start to move orange around a little bit, but uh, for now. National Spain finally took over that thing, of, of course. New theater, uh, this one we'll call the, uh, southern border. Just to keep things a little bit organized. And, uh, yeah, alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna take a break here. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video, where we will start declaring all these wars. And, uh, I have, I have hope, I have faith here. Things are gonna go all right. Should be good. Do we have any... We do have some, we can actually get started on one guy. One little lonesome guy who's almost level 3 and become a infantry plus support. Okay, I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching everyone. See you soon.